Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about basic engine measurements. As you can see, I have my manual here. And you always want to make sure you have the exact manual for your engine so you can compare the specified measurements versus the actual measurements that you take. The tools we're going to use today include a thickness gauge, a digital veneer caliper, a spark plug gap measuring tool, and your basic square. The first thing we're going to look at measuring is the crankshaft. We're going to measure all three journals on this single cylinder crankshaft. Here's the crank pin journal. If you remember, that's what connects to the connecting rod that connects to the piston. So when we're measuring these journals, we're going to use our digital veneer caliper. We're going to zero it out, make sure it's set to inches, and we're going to measure the thickest part of each journal. Once you have your measurements, you can compare that to the specifications in the manual, and if anything is out of tolerance, that part should be replaced. Next, we can move on to the camshaft. On the camshaft, you want to make sure that you're measuring the front and rear journals along with both cam lobes. To do that, we can use our digital veneer caliper again, and we can measure just like before, comparing those measurements to the specifications in the manual. When you measure the cam lobes, you want to make sure you measure at the widest point, or the tip of the lobe. Another important measurement to take is the piston diameter. To do that, we can use our digital veneer caliper again, and we're going to take this measurement in two directions, both perpendicular and parallel to the piston pin. In addition to measuring the piston, we want to make sure we measure each piston ring as well. To remove the piston rings, we can grab our ring expanders and gently take the first ring off by opening it up just enough to pull it off the top of the piston. What we're going to be measuring is the small gap on the piston ring. We're going to do this when it's fully compressed and inside the cylinder bore. We're going to want to gently press the piston ring down into the cylinder bore about one inch and make sure that it's even all the way around. That gap should be really small now, and we can use our thickness gauge to measure exactly how small. It takes a little bit of trial and error, but you want to find the thickness gauge that fits right inside that gap, not too tight and not too loose. Once you're done, you can again compare that measurement to the specifications in the manual. Repeat this process for the other two rings. Next, we can measure our tappets. The tappets, right along the cam lobes, and they push the valves to open and close them. We're going to measure the length of the tappets by using our digital veneer caliper. We're going to make sure that they match the specifications in the manual and that they match each other. Next, we're going to measure our valves, specifically the valve stems. We want to measure the valve stems in three spots, the bottom, middle, and top. We're going to do this again by using our digital veneer caliper. Make sure to stay away from the tapered ends on both the top and bottom of the valves. Next in the valve system are the valve springs. We're going to use our engineer square to make sure that the springs are still square and not misshapen. Next we can use our spark plug gap measurer to measure the gap on the spark plug. Just enter the tool into the gap of the spark plug and turn it until it fits snugly adjust the gap as needed. Moving on to the cylinder bore, we're going to need to use a telescoping gauge. We're going to use the telescoping gauge to measure the cylinder bore in three locations, top, middle, and bottom, using the holes on the top of the cylinder as guides so we can rotate for each measurement. Tighten the tool down to hold your measurement and use your digital veneer caliper to measure the distance. We're going to repeat this process for the next two measurements. Again, you're going to want to make sure you rotate the tool about 30 degrees, or you can use the holes on the top as guides. Once you get all three measurements, you're going to want to compare these measurements to the specifications in the manual. Continuing with the cylinder bore, sometimes you might need to hone the cylinder bore. For that, I'm going to have my hone and my drill. Now 
you want to carefully insert the hone into the cylinder bore, and then while pressing the trigger, make an up and down motion just a few times. You don't want to overdo it, so just go a few times and check your work. If it needs to be honed a little bit more, go ahead and do that. The goal is to have a nice crosshatch pattern inside the cylinder bore. When you're done with that, make sure you thoroughly clean the cylinder bore and the crankcase to make sure you don't have any small shavings left behind. The intent of this video was to show you just a few basic measuring techniques. For all other specifications and measuring techniques, please refer back to your manual. One thing I forgot to mention is you want to measure the large bearing on your connecting rod. You can use your digital veneer caliper and measure the interior diameter with the back side of the caliper. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.